Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, I am going to talk to you all about the different kinds of plotting styles that are available in Matplotlib in, in, from the version 2.0 onwards. Now, uh, if you, this is just a simple code to plot the sine and cosine, uh, cosine against the angle. So if I just run this code over here, you will get this uh, plot, uh, plot over here. Now what I want you to you know, note in this plot clearly is how the uh, styles looks look like in this plot. So other than the color other than the color and the label that we assigned to the curve, the actual plot itself there aren't much there aren't much modifications we did. So if you look at this, uh, by default there is actually a small bit of a padding on the uh, padding on the top and the bottom to make sure that we accounted the extremas properly without the extremas actually touching the border border and the, the similarly there's a little bit of padding on the left and the right to look at the same thing and you have a gr grid spacing yes some will consider the amount of grid spacing without even be uh, realizing it and if you put a grid option over here the grids are in a slightly lighter color over here okay and they have solid lines solid but pale uh, pale uh, gray lines instead of dark black lines over here. So these are actually the default settings for this plot. And now um, what I would say is that there are like in matplotlib there are like multiple styles that are available. So let's actually look at them together. Look at them this time. Now if I want to uh, change the way the plot style actually looks like I need to import this matplotlib library uh, with a short name and then I have to go and use this option mpl.style.use and then, and then I have to set a style over here. This this plot over here, which we saw, this is actually the default style that is available in Matplotlib, okay, from, from version two and above, okay. And now, uh, if I want to go back to some of the plot, the some some uh, style that was actually used in the earlier versions of Matplotlib, you have to use ca something called as classic. Now, this you, many people might be familiar with. So, if I, let me run this and show you, you see this. Uh, plotting style over here this classic this was used to, this used to be the default style for the matplotlib pl plots especially in the older uh, especially in for older versions so if you look at uh, any plots in the internet that explain uh, any plots or documentation or examples that they mention in, in mention in the internet those plots that are accompanying with matplotlib they would have been kind of, they would have had this this style over here unlike uh, and only a very few that uh, well, only a very few and uh, recent ones where is that only a very few on the recent documentations will have a plot having this kind of style over here so this was the, actually the older old um, um, i mean older versions style that was the default style in the older versions and now this has been imported into the newer version of matplotlib as with the style named classic whereas this one over here this is actually the default style and this is actually a newly made style for the matplotlib library matplotlib plotting okay now, uh, what we, uh, what the development community in the Python the Python community did is that they try to implement many kinds of plotting styles as much as they can. And a few years back, the, a new library called a Cbound got developed in Python, and as a consequence, that came up with a, a quite a lot of plotting styles. And uh, as a consequence, people started importing those styles styles directly inside Matplotlib, and we, as a consequence, we have multiple styles over here that we can use to our advantage. So to access any style, as I mentioned earlier, write MPL and then use MPL style.use and then you write a style name. So let's have a look at how Cbound style looks like. So I just have to type Cbound over here and run this. There we go. By default, Cbound style, if you look at it by the appearance itself, you can see this is entirely different. The rendering of this plot is different from the other two styles. Okay. Likewise, there is one more style called as uh, ggplot. If you have ever worked with R programming language and seen how the plots got rendered from R, uh, they use this kind of a style. And this is how an R programming pro style looks like. Okay, this is coming from this ggplot option over here. Okay, and this, likewise, there are like multiple. Um, there are many more styles available in, in, in matplotlib. And if you want to know how there's the different types of styles, I just have to print this option over here mpl.style.available if I print this out you'll get all the different styles that are available and uh, after you close this plot and you can see at the bottom you'll see the different kinds of styles that are present over here most of them are c-bound and every once in a while you'll get a different style like 538 ggplot uh, grayscale 
just a classic just a classic the classic version and there's this BMH and there is this dark background and uh, possibly a few others and most of and all others are actually seaborn style each plot has its each uh, style each style has its own characteristics of characteristics with respect to legends default colors the color schemings uh, the axis controls border controls and all so i would recommend you to have actually uh, you know play with these so that uh, you can pick up the any color any plot you want most of the time what will happen is that uh, you can stick with the default plots and go uh, go ahead with it default style and go ahead with it but sometimes if you just change the styles in the styles your plot might be embellished better it might render better so that's the entire idea behind it Okay, now this is how you use the different styles in Matplotlib. Okay, thank you for watching. That's all I have for you in this video and see you all next time.